All right, so in the second video, which will be shorter than the first, um, I want to talk about these aspects of your essay planner, the evidence and your notes. So for each of your reasons, you're going to be writing a small to medium-sized paragraph or maybe multiple paragraphs that talk about this reason. And so what we need is information that supports my reason or your reason. We need evidence. Now, evidence can be lots of different things. There's not one part of evidence that we can focus on today. Um, there are primary sources and secondary sources, but for today, all we need to know is that evidence supports our reason. This is information we're looking for. This is also like logic, meaning things that just make sense. And so your evidence can come from your own brain. Like if you have a great explanation as to why the death penalty is cruel and unusual, if I can just simply talk about it, this is where I explain myself. This is where, this is where my, my evidence comes in. But at the same time, evidence is also information we have to look up, we have to, to find. And so I want evidence that supports the idea that the death penalty is cruel and unusual. So maybe I need to go onto the internet and I need to look up how people are killed in the death penalty. So I could do that. I could go to Google and very specifically find how are people killed using the death penalty. I might also look on the internet for information about um, uh, the different ways the death penalty has changed over the years, because it has. I knew that already before I wrote this, that there used to be ways of killing people that we don't do anymore. I could look up even information about how things have gone wrong during um, instances of the death penalty that make it very cruel and unbarbaric. So I could do all of that. Now, I'm going to show you how what kind of evidence I would be looking for for reason three. That's going to be my example here. So there's a possibility of killing someone who is actually innocent is one of the reasons Mr. Vrabel has in his essay. So what evidence do I want? I want to see how many people who are on death row have found to have been found to be innocent. I want to find that information. So the first thing I did, I actually Googled, I used the internet, and I Googled death penalty information, and I found out um, this website. I was lucky. I have a nice death penalty information center. It looks like a, um, a solid website. You know, if you're using sports uh, as your topic, you might want to look at things like ESPN. Um, there's lots of newspaper articles. These are also different ways, uh, different sources of evidence. And we're going to talk more about sources when I return. But for now, we're just looking for some information. And I was fortunate enough, I like a fact sheet. There's all sorts of, I'm looking for facts. Um, and so I clicked it and look, there's so, there's a lot of information right here. And so um, right here is where I'm looking for innocence. Um, since 1973, more than 185 people have been released from death row with evidence of their innocence. An average of 3.94 wrongly convicted death row prisoners have been exonerated each year since 1973. So that means there have been almost four people um, uh, who have been wrongly convicted each year that are on the death, on death row. That means four people could have been killed who were innocent. And then so thank God they were found to be innocent because if they weren't, they could be killed. So I'm going to act. I like this information. That's evidence. I'm going to put it right in my essay planner. I can copy and paste it. Some of you like to do this. All right. And that's great. This is, you see, now I have my evidence. Now, what I, the final thing I want to do for now is find the website where I got this evidence. And I want to paste it in my um in my planner and that's for later so i know that it is found from deathpenaltyinformation.org that's where the website i got it so for now i'm going to copy my website so look at what i have now i have evidence i have facts and information i found it online i have the source of that information and then finally i want to write down why this information is important so I'm going to decide that the fact that innocent people could 
be killed in the death penalty. Let's, I might want to reword that. Means that, um, you know what, could be killed using the death penalty, from the death penalty. Death penalty is reason enough to get rid of it. I want to add some more things now that I'm I'm putting my ideas down on paper. Um, it is clearly possible that innocent people have been killed with the death penalty. Death penalty. That is simply not okay. So I just want to using this information, I'm going to point out that. Innocent people have been released from death row, but clearly innocent people have been killed. And I also might want to look at more evidence. I want to might look at innocent people who have been killed who have been found to be innocent afterwards. So I want to just focus on that. So that takes time. This takes time. This is not like a five minute thing, but it's also supposed to be done in this class into next class. So that's it. All right, you want to work quickly. All right, so that's again, that's probably a longer video than the first, but um, again, once you get your reasons and all that information, I want you to write down your evidence, explanations, and notes. All right, go for it.